Hi, this is Bryce from Long Range Shooters of Utah. Excited to do a quick comparison and review of a standard corn cob tumbler on the left versus the stainless steel tumbling media set up on the right. Um, starting off with the corn cob media, you have a, a standard corn cob media material. Um, this is the, the kit that comes from Cabela's directly. It comes with uh, enough to have about basically two tumbler loads full of media. This does uh, eventually get dirty and go bad. You have to swap it out. Um, and then it also comes with this eight ounce bottle of polish. Uh, this runs about $55 from Cabela's and does come with uh, one bag of media and then the polish. Uh, and uh, it does a pretty good job. I mean, they last forever. Uh, the downside is you have to swap out the, pol or the, the polish and the media every so often as they do get old and get dirty and they don't work quite as well. And then of course it does take, uh, can take a lot longer to, to do as you'll see. Um, on the right side we have the Rebel Tumbler, the Extreme Rebel from Stainless Tumbling Media. And they were good enough to uh, uh, let us use this and do a review. So uh, what we have inside is five pounds of stainless steel media. As you can see these are just little uh, you know, quarter inch or three eighths inch long uh, stainless rods and we have five pounds of them in there and they recommend the five pounds and then you add in a gallon of water you do a quarter teaspoon of lemmy shine you can get that from STM or uh, you can get it at any grocery store lasts forever since you're only using a quarter teaspoon per batch then you've got uh, three teaspoons of um, Dawn or any kind of dish, dish detergent so let's go ahead and get started so with the tumbler we're going to go ahead and dump in uh, some 300 wind mag brass. I will compare here and show you that these are all from the same box. Uh, these were loaded recently and shot. But after one firing, you can see just how dirty uh, the primer pocket is especially. And that's really the part that I'm hoping to remedy by using the stainless steel tumbler. Uh, I've had a lot of problem with cleaning these. So it's no fun to take a brush and clean them out by hand. Um, and then I was using a primer pocket uniforming tool and doing it that way, and that was working well until I started popping primers uh, prematurely. So they even fall out of uh, life casings before they're even fired. So that was the big issue that I'm trying to get away from is getting the clean pocket, but not having to uh, ruin the, the pocket trying to clean it. So we've got 25 in here. We'll put 25 in here. Uh, the instructions suggest shake well and then put three to four capfuls of polish so we'll shake that up i'm just going to estimate the three or four capfuls here call that one two say three okay this side here i'll go ahead and add in my 25 pieces of 300 wind brass to this side one gallon of water. This should come right up to about an inch below the top of the barrel is what they suggest. Just about right. Then we're going to do three tablespoons of soap almost out here. One, two, and three. Okay, now for the lemmy shine, about a quarter of a teaspoon, a quarter there. Okay. They have a rubber gasket that goes on the top here. And I took and added my own little flare to the top of the uh, tumbler. And you've got these nuts that you screw on. Oh. Alright, so we are ready to go. I'll go ahead and hit the Stain this first, then turn on the regular tumbler. So as you can see, it is 
1.34 in the afternoon. I'm gonna give this about an hour and a half or two hours. Come back, open it up, look at both of them and see how they compare. All right, as you can see, it's been uh, about two hours, almost exactly. So I'm gonna pull, the, pull a couple samples out and compare the results. In two hours of tumbling in corn cob media versus STM. So there's the corn cob. two samples. Take a look at the results. So this is the corn cob. That is a stainless tumbling media. As you can see there's a big difference. Not so much on the outside. However, this still is showing some marks from inside the chamber. This one is not showing any at all. Get down here towards the bottom and make sure your media doesn't start pouring out. Tell me that doesn't look good. It's gorgeous. So what I do now is just take and rinse this a little bit. So to make sure that the uh, media doesn't stick in the inside of the case, what I do is turn them upside down, put them under water, just kind of shake them a little bit. Set them over here to dry. Now STM does sell a uh, media separator. Uh, definitely a worthwhile piece of equipment to have as it would make this process a lot faster. So there's a piece of 300 wind mag. See the power pockets very clean. So now to dry the brass, so I'm just going to Use my oven. I'm gonna bake, and I'm gonna turn it way down. It's down to like 150. You can also take it out and let it sit in the sun, do a hair dryer, put it on a dehydrator. So 170 is as low as it can go.